Okay, so we're going to be now focusing on circle, circle, circle. So we're going to look at the parts of the circle. Pi, 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 circumference, which is the perimeter of a circle, and the area of a circle. Let's begin. Okay, so there are going to be four important parts of a circle that we want to focus on. So, let's do this part in red. So we have the radius, which always starts from the center. So the center is that little black dot. Little black dot right there. That's the center. So from the center to the edge, that is the radius. Okay. When we have a line going through from one end of the circle to the other, that's the diameter. Okay, the circumference, like I said, that is going all around the circle, all around, ring around the rosy circumference. And then the area is all of the stuff inside of the circle. Okay, let's look at the next one. So this first section, chapter 8.1, radius and diameter, we're going to look at what is a radius, what is the diameter of a circle, how to calculate radius, and how to calculate diameter. So you might have a little bit of an inkling, but hopefully this solidifies it in your head. Okay, radius, formal definition, is a distance from the center of the circle to the outside edge. And we always represent it with a lowercase r lowercase so it's from the center to the outside edge that is your radius make sure you make a note of that next the diameter so that's the distance across the circle which crosses through it goes through that center remember that little dot right there that is your center Okay, and we represent that with a lowercase d, lowercase d. Okay, make sure that is also written down. Next, we, the radius is half the diameter. Okay, so when we look at this, we have our radius here that's in the dashed red, and then the diameter is actually the blue line. So this right here that I'm drawing, that is also the radius. Oh, and look, the radius can also be here. Okay, so when if you have the diameter, you divide it by two, and that gives you the radius. If you have the radius, you multiply it by two to get the diameter. Okay. And remember, the diameter, sorry, the diameter doesn't need to go through any one particular spot. As long as it's going through the center, it can be the diameter. That's diameter, and that's also diameter. Okay. Now for this one, this little line, PQ, it doesn't go through the center. So it's not a radius. And it's not a diameter. It is called a chord. Dun, dun, dun. Let's look at some examples of diameter and radius. Now, remember, a radius, you multiply it by 2 to get the diameter. If you have diameter, you divide it by 2 to get the radius. All right. So here are our examples. The first one would be an example of diameter because it goes from one end of the circle to the other. So the diameter of this one is 16 centimeters. Now, what's the radius? Hmm, radius is half the diameter. So it's half of 16. Oh, that's eight. Okay. That's eight. Let's look at the next one. The diameter, well, we don't have that yet. 
But we have the radius because it starts at the center and it goes to the edge. So the radius is actually 10 centimeters. Now, if the radius is double to get the diameter, that means the radius, I multiply it by 2, oh, that gives me 20. Let me change that in a different color, which is 10 times 2. And this one over here is 16 divided by Okay, now try and figure out the other two. Remember, a radius starts at the center and goes to the edge, and a diameter goes right through the center from one edge to the other. A little pause. Okay, this one is a radius. This one over here is a diameter. Now, if our radius is 4, the diameter is going to be double that, 8. Okay, for this one, the diameter is 18. The radius is half of that, 9. Okay, all right. This is your homework, workbook pages 88 to 89. I have assigned extra practice questions in Mathletics for those of you that do have Mathletics questions, um, Mathletics accounts. If you still want one, just send me a quick message. Um, you, can, you can just try all of them at your leisure, but I would start with are you ready and just labeling circles if you wanted to do the extra practice. Okay, get to it and do it. Remember, ask questions if you're not sure.